Adding a list in Studio isn't a problem since all the text formatting and functions apply and transitions work in the same way. In this video, I'll show how I set up basic lists, apply a motion, and time it to the audio. All right, so I'm talking about lists, and lists are simply text. The only difference is they are shorter, not entire paragraphs, usually just points I want to make. I could be doing a cookie recipe, and I could be listing ingredients. I could be putting something together and have a parts list. It doesn't matter. All of the techniques or methods for entering text, formatting the text, timing it, and everything else, all that holds true. As a matter of fact, doing a list probably is a little bit easier. So I've prepared a list. The header here of what we've learned is set. It's going to be there when this title comes up. So now I have to do is start playing this. The King James Version is a formal equivalence or word-for-word -word translation. All right, so there's the first point. Next point, all I have to do is move my pill over to here. It has a 98% accuracy in the translation. And then my next point. And there are no doctrinal discrepancies in the text when compared to the older sources. Next point. It's not impossible to understand, but may take some additional work. It expresses a reverent tone and formality that some other versions lack. We can rely on the King James Version as a solid choice for reading, study and worship if we're willing to put in the effort needed to understand it. Let me go ahead and click OK. That will save the changes, and then I'm going to switch and review it in full screen. The King James Version is a formal equivalence or word-for-word -word translation. It has a 98% accuracy in the translation, and there are no doctrinal discrepancies in the text when compared to the older sources. It's not impossible to understand, but may take some additional work. It expresses a reverent tone and formality that some other versions lack. We can rely on the King James Version as a solid choice for reading, study, and worship if we're willing to put in the effort needed to understand it. So that is a list. Any list that I want to do, I'm going to follow that same pattern. The only difference would be if I want to add a graphic in the background or somewhere, and then I want to arrange this differently, I can get creative with that. I can do whatever I need to do. So that is a list. Now, the only problem that I run into with lists or with anything like a long quotation is that sometimes there just isn't enough room here in the title box to actually make everything fit. So because of that, I'm faced with a decision or with a problem. In the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how I can split this title and be able to accommodate the text that won't fit instead of sizing it so it's not really readable. There are times when lists or quotations are larger than the title area will allow. Since I populated the timeline with titles early in the project, resizing them adding or deleting titles becomes problematic. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to split a title without destroying the project or layout.